On the first day of dredging sand from the bottom of the creek, the containment box holding the sand ended up on the bottom of the creek. We sent in on your side's Andy Fox to get answers about this dredging drama. Andy? Yeah, Alvina and Tom, we were certainly not welcomed at the site of the recovery operation. It appears the barge hit an obstacle and started turning up like this. And then, of course, rushing currents continued making it go like this. And the containment box that was on it slipped into the murky waters of Long Creek. Hey, hey, hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First of all, this isn't your property. No, it's not yours either. Well, I know, but so you can't just push me around like that. I'm, I'm asking what happened. Why doesn't Jim Sammons want 10 on your side hanging around? Well, he's had a tough day at the office. We've asked you to leave. Leave. Now, let me have the microphone. Now, tell me what happened. Construction site. I want to know what happened out here. The people have the right to know what happened. How did that fall into the water? Sammons wasn't talking, but the day turned upside down when on the first day of his Virginia Beach City contract to dredge Long Creek, his company lost a containment box on the bottom of the creek. These pictures shot by Lynn Hume show the containment box filled with creek bottom sand tipping over and sinking. The tugboat pushing the barge that held the containment box nearly tipped over too. And you could see a crew member there scrambling to save the tug. I heard the guy say that I thought I was going with it. And so they thought that the pusher boat itself would have was going down too. And then later on he said, I thought I was gone. After the heated words, the engineering began to right the wrong. The excavator spent the afternoon transferring the sand from the sunk containment box, putting it on another containment box. The box on the bottom will now be lighter so it can be pushed to shore. Coincidentally, after months of battling the city, Hume successfully stopped this site from becoming a massive dredge transfer station. She is not opposed to the lighter dredging that occurred today. This is reality. This is what we said would happen. This has happened. It was only the second load. And we saw it happen before our eyes, which was absolutely incredible. It took all afternoon, but the Sammons crew finally pushed the containment box out of the creek channel, leaving it on the shore. Now, the dredging was supposed to take three days, but that has changed. The Salmon's company has 30 days to complete the project. Thankfully, no one was hurt in today's dredging incident. They are having trouble, though, bringing the containment box to shore because one of the ropes they were using snapped. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.